Hi everyone, it's Michelle. This is the long-awaited um, update on how I'm doing on Lacuna Prurins. Uh, just like a recap, I've been on it now for two months and I get mine from Banyan um, Herbs. I know there's a lot of other distributors that are real popular with people. I'm just kind of used to this vendor so that's why I used it. And right now I'm using the powder. I have tried the other forms also and this works the best for me. And um, just a little bit of a background, I got diagnosed with Parkinson's three years ago, but I've had it for a very long time. Um, so when I first started with the medication, I started right away with the Cinemet. So I've only been on Cinemet, Amandadine, and um, Selegiline, which I only used for a month, and it was, I had a really bad side effects on that. And then I've been trying the, the natural levodopa. And like I said, I've been on it for two months. And some of my Parkinson's um, problems are I'm slow. Um, I don't have so much problems with the tremor. Um, I do have like mobility issues, like um, if I'm not on a medication, I drag my feet. Um, and I do shuffle now. <laughs> So that's a, just a quick recap so you know where I'm at. And um, I just wanted to do a list of the pros and the cons because I, did, I don't have a definite answer, but this is just my experience with the herb. Um, first, let's go through the pros. Um, one thing, it's not expensive. You're not trying an expensive drug. It's kind of easy to obtain. I mean, it's not like everyone carries the herb, but you can get it um, usually online. I don't. Think anyone sells it actually in a, in a store and when I say not expensive um, like this packet it lasts me a month but it'll probably last another person much longer I'm at the stage where I'm taking my medicine like every three hours and this is like $24 I believe and with Banyan they do automatically ship each month so if that's a concern um, with you that's what I do to make sure that I have enough. So I take about a teaspoon every three hours. So that's why this lasts me about a month. So it's not expensive. Another um, benefit is that it's a natural dopamine. And I was kind of surprised. It acts exactly the same way as my cinnamon. I have to do exactly the same things also, like not eat any protein an hour before um, and generally not eat an hour before and an hour after, um, otherwise it doesn't work too well. I should say too that I still take half a, half a tab of cinnamon um, because my um, primary doctor said that that would aid with the, it crossing the blood um, brain barrier. Not sure if that's true, but I still take that half cinnamon. Another um, pro is that um, it it work. I think it would work for many people, but that's just my opinion. I'm not a doctor, but like I think it would work for people that are not on medication yet. Um, it could also help like stretch out the time between between the times that you have to take more. Cinnamon. Like I also noticed that personally, I get less dyskinesia, but dyskinesia is not a big problem for me yet. I do get it, but I don't think it's really severe. Um, but I did notice on the powder, I have less dyskinesia. I also find it has a less abrupt off time, and what I mean by that is that when I'm on it and I go off, it's not like it's not dramatic. Like before, when I started to, to get to the point where I was in an off period, it would be like a like a jolt. I would be like, and I would feel like really off balance. Um, but with the Makuna, it's, um, you're definitely off. You can feel the off, but it's not as dramatic. Like it won't jolt you forward when if, if you're walking. Um, and one last pro is that it, it might have less side effects because it's natural, but we totally don't know that. And some, 
things just because they're natural doesn't mean that they work better. Some of the cons of Mucuna prurines that I found is that it's not really convenient to use this powder form. But the powder form works a lot better because it's a higher concentration of the herb. So what I mean is not convenient is that I use this every three hours like my cinnamon. So that means that I have to carry it with me. So what I do is put it in a little container with you know the little Tupperware containers with the lid and um, carry it in my purse and then um, I carry a little bottle of water to mix it with. But it's much easier to use at home than when I'm on the road. The big thing is that it tastes horrible and I know that some people have said it has no taste and I'm wondering if the, the people that say that just can't taste anything because I know that I did go through a long period where I couldn't taste anything but it kind of comes and goes so now I can taste and it absolutely gets to the point where I'm actually nauseous because it tastes so bad. I have tried like to mix it with different things. I've mixed it in a smoothie, that, that's fine if you mix it in a smoothie. I've had it with tea, I've had it with coffee. Coffee kind of disguises the taste too. Um, orange juice will also disguise the taste. I want to try lemon, but I haven't tried the lemon yet. Um, but I kind of use it in different things and after a while I still get kind of tired and nauseous over the taste. And the thing is that I'm going to have to use it for a long time. <clears throat> it's not like something that with another problem where you could use it for a week and then you're off of it. So that might be an issue for some people. Um, if it is, you can take the capsules that they have, but the only thing I find with the capsules is that you're going to have to use a lot of capsules because they don't have as a high concentration of the herb. Um, they also have a tincture. And the tincture is fine. It, it tastes like alcohol, but you're not going to use that much of it. And you can mix that with water. I think it tastes a little bit better than the powder. However, the same thing. If you're in a low dose, that's fine. But generally, a, a dropper is like a, I think it's like a two ounce. It's about this size. And that's not going to last me very long, and it's going to be expensive. So usually, like this size, the cheapest I've seen is like twenty-four dollars. And um, I would need like three or four bottles for the for the month, so I can't do that price wise. Okay, some other problems are we don't know about long term use, so there are no studies on long term use at all. But I don't know. It, it, I guess it's just a personal um, personal choice that we all have to make. I'm willing to make it because there's no cure, and not that this herb is a, a cure for Parkinson's, but um, it might. I like, I like it because it's natural, and it might be prevent me from from taking more of the cinnamon. Another con is that it's not part of Western medicine, so if it's not part of Western medicines. There's no information on it. There is information on it um, from an Ayurvedic medicine. Um, point of view, and I am trained in that. Okay, I'm not sure where this video cut off at. That kind of sucks. So I'm just going to guess. Okay, so one, one con is not part of Western medicine, so there's no information on it. So you can't go to a doctor and the doctor say, okay, I would suggest you take this in this dose, because it's not proven um, and not researched under the Western medicine guidelines. So they, they can't really tell you, because it, it's just not part of their medical system. One. Um, big con is that the dosage that one should use is really a guess based upon other people's experience because there are no guidelines as far as the dosage 
there is like some, you'll find some general guidelines again just by people that have that have used it themselves and usually people use like a quarter teaspoon up to one teaspoon and I think it's 45 milligrams or grams that is the maximum so I'll check on that and put them in the description box or I'll put it on the, the video okay so that's about it I guess the one last thing is that I should tell you that I mix the Mucuna with the Sinrat I don't really want to do that but sometimes the Mucuna is so inconvenient that I have to take my traditional dose of Sinrat and skip that Mucuna dose and um, sometimes I go back and forth just because of that and I don't have any side effects other than I do get more dyskinesia that way so I would not advise it but you know if you have to do it I, I think in, for me I'd rather do that than like skip a dose so that's about it and thanks for looking at my videos if you have a subject that you would like me to discuss please leave the comment 